What's up guys? It is Coasters and Things here today and today it's kind of a last minute trip. I only booked it like two days ago but I am going up to Dollywood today. This will be my fourth visit this year and I am alone today by the way as you can see no one else is with me so I will be alone at a theme park today sadly but I'll still be happy to take you guys along with the ride with me and I'm happy to get back on Lightning Rod again, as I am repping today. Uh, I'll see you all in a couple hours. I got about two hours up north to go, and I'll see you all when I get there. Well, two and a half hours later, I finally made it to Dollywood. I was stuck in that long line of cars to get in for the longest time, like over 30 minutes. Um, it was ridiculous, but I bared through it and I finally I'm in. I'm walking to the entrance, guys. I'll see you shortly. I am in Dollywood, finally. Masks are not required anymore, by the way. So if you've been fully vaccinated, you're good to go without a mask. So Lightning Rod was an 85 minute wait. I'm gonna come back and do that later. Instead, I'm gonna go to the back of the park and ride the other coasters first because they all have only about 10 minute waits. I'm gonna do Blazing Fury first, then Tennessee Tornado, then just work my way back around. Just did Blazing Fury. I liked it better when it had the splashdown. I have the same opinion on that every time. Now instead of the splashdown, at the end there are these loud bangs that you want to cover your ears. Uh, it's an old classic. Next style, I'm gonna go Tennessee Tornado. I just rode Tennessee Tornado. It's running two trains on a weekday? It never runs two trains on a weekday. That's so rare, guys. Like, I guess that just goes to show how crowded it is today. The misters are finally on. The misters are finally on again. It feels so good, guys. I'm gonna see how long Fire Chaser Express line is. So I just rode Wild Eagle. That was one of the best rides I've ever gotten on it. It was really forceful. I rode it in the back row and uh, it was smoother than I remembered. From the bottom of the first drop through the vertical loop and all the way up until the start of the zero G roll, I had a gray out. That was actually a long gray out. A really long gray out, guys. Uh, one thing I did notice though is that after the Immelman, through the zero G roll in the final two turns, it's pretty rattly. It has a pretty noticeable B&M rattle to it. Still though, 
much better than I remember. I am having lunch right now. I couldn't believe it, but Lumberjacks doesn't serve pizza anymore. That was one of my favorite things to get at Dollywood was Lumberjacks pizza. So instead, I am at Till and Harvest having lunch and I am having Mexican. This is what I am having. I'm having these huge loaded nachos and then two waters. This one for my lunch and this one to carry around in the park with me because it's very hot today. So I just rode Dragonflyer, and I rode a couple of the other rides in Wildwood Grove as well. I rode the Great Tree Swing, I rode Treetop Tower, and I rode Frogs and Fireflies. Um, now I'm gonna head back down and check out and see how long Thunderhead's line is. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering why I rode Frogs and Fireflies, it's because it was the only ride in the entire park that I hadn't ridden yet. And I decided it wasn't too embarrassing to ride. So I decided I'd go ahead and ride it for the first time. Probably the only time I'll ever ride it. Just so I can say I've now ridden every single ride at Dollywood. So I just rode Thunderhead. It's really good. The coasters are running really good today. I can tell they've warmed up and it's summer. Now, I rode every coaster in the back except Mystery Mine because, you know, I'm not a fan of Mystery Mine. And I didn't ride Whistlepunk Chaser. But I rode Wild Eagle, Tennessee Tornado, Thunderhead, Fire Chaser Express, and Dragonflyer. And Blazing, or did I mention Blazing Fury? I don't know if I mentioned Blazing Fury or not, but I rode that too. So you all know where I'm going now. Lightning Rod's only a 35 minute wait now, so I'm gonna go ride Lightning Rod. I still haven't ridden it today, which is shocking, considering it's my favorite roller coaster. But I'm finally gonna get on Lightning Rod. Let's do it. So I've kind of forgotten to vlog, sorry. But the single rider line on Lightning Rod is back. 
So instead of waiting a long time, I only ended up waiting about five minutes. I went, I already wrote it twice. I only, I wrote it twice. I wrote it twice in about 20 minutes. Then I went to go get water because I was incredibly hot and dehydrated. Now I'm about to write it a third time. We just rode Lightning Rod and I ran to another enthusiast. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, my name's Tyler. Uh, first time riding Lightning Rod in the front row, absolutely insane. Especially the quad down, insane airtime. Yeah, is that your favorite row? Uh, it's close between that and the back right now. I personally prefer the front. Would you say that's your favorite coaster? It's close between this and Fury, but I think this is my best coaster right now. Okay, it's my number one as well. For those of you who don't know, I switched it with Steel Vengeance. This is my number one. And this is my home park. Your home park is Six Flags Over Georgia, isn't it? Yeah. But. That, that's my second home park. Even though I'm about the same distance from both of them, I come here a lot more than Six Flags Over Georgia because I like coming here more. Yeah, and this is my first day here, and I'll be coming here more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's worth the drive. I'll say that. Even from Atlanta, it's worth the drive. Yeah. And all I have to say is thank you, Alan Schulke and RMC, for creating this masterpiece. Thank you so much. <laughs> So I just got my seventh ride on Lightning Rod today, which means I'm now at 40 all time. Uh, time to go. First day here, rode it 10 times. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yeah, and I got lucky on that last ride. I got the front row somehow. They, the ride ops, they kind of like messed up because they were supposed to put me in row four, but they already, both rows three and four were already full and row one only had one person in it. So I asked her if I could ride with her, and she said yeah. So I unexpectedly got front row. Uh, I grayed out at the bottom of the drop that time, and my shirt flew up in the quad down. We're gonna go to Daredevil Falls to cool off because it's really hot. I was gonna say I, I'm actually sore from ejector, but I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> Describes it perfectly. <laughs> we just did Daredevil Falls. We got wet. Uh, it felt good. Yeah. Felt good finally. Really needed that after this hot day. It's like 92 or something? 93. And um, yeah, it's 93 degrees out. I'm heading out. I'm calling it a day. I got seven rides on lightning rods, so that brought me up to 40 even rods. And I rode all the other coasters except Mystery Mine once. And I rode a few flat rides in Wildwood Grove once and Daredevil Falls once. So overall, good day. It was my fourth visit this year. And it was your first time. First visit. I loved it here. Theming's incredible. Just a great atmosphere. Yeah, uh, I love this park. Even though it's my home park, I still love coming here a lot. Um, in the future, uh, if you decide to come more than once in a season, get a season pass. Gold yeah, pass. I'll definitely do that. Uh, I recommend it. You get free parking and get benefits okay. with it, like discounts on food and merchandise. Nice. So that pretty much wraps it up for this vlog. Thank you, Tyler, for joining me in this vlog. No problem. Uh, Instagram is uh, Tyler, Tyler Coast, Coast Coaster Hyatt. Tyler. Yeah. Coaster Tyler. I'll link it down below. He just created his Instagram. He's now officially a part of the community, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll have more videos coming soon. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Coasters in Things signing out. I'm a